The 2022 NASCAR Cup Series champion Joey Logano called NASCAR fans spoiled for how they are able to interact with NASCAR Cup Series drivers, comparing them to NFL players and the amount of access they get compared to them. Uh, Carson Hosevar responded to Joey Logano and uh, quite significantly disagreed with him. Before we get to this, I'd like to ask you, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. So just to give you a refresher, this is what Joey Logano had to say to Sirius XM NASCAR Radio Channel 90, where he called NASCAR fans spoiled. Let's listen. Our fans are spoiled. And and I I and I love our race fans and but think about other sports for a second. Think about it. When are you going to meet an NFL player? When is it, can you access an NFL player? Nope. Anytime like three hours before a game? No. You can well, maybe if you're me. Taylor Swift. <laughs> maybe, yeah. Okay. <laughs> maybe for Taylor Swift. One exception. But you can meet me. 20 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes before I get in the race car, you can take a picture with me. Like it's, I am there. And all the other racers are the same thing. They all, like we walk down a red carpet and, and there is people on both sides of us and all the drivers stop and sign autographs or at least try their hardest to, right? It's hard to get everybody, but you try your hardest to. Our, that is the norm in, in our sport. That doesn't happen in any other sport at all. So to say we're not, accessible is wrong that is not the case at all we are very accessible and when you think of uh as race car drivers are staying in a motorhome now i don't know i mean i feel like so that is what joey logano had to say about fans being spoiled given how much access he believes that they have compared to uh, nfl players well carson osvar had some thoughts about what joey logano had to say and he disagreed with him uh, pretty uh pretty vehemently here Let's uh, let's uh, see what he had to say here. This is what he said. Why do we pretend and act like we give fans the most access? Baseball, just a foul ball alone, you can have a player land in lap catching the ball. Football, post game, the crowd storms the field. Just those two alone make you feel apart. I will say that's just in college. I don't, you don't really see that in the NFL. We give our fans interviews in the midway that hopefully you're lucky enough to get an autograph before a PR person has to pull the driver to leave. Buy a VIP and you're able to get a glimpse or catch them coming out of hauler. But same applies there. Local short tracks do it right by opening the pit gate post-race and allowing fans to come down. Why can't we? Our access is good, but not the best and not full access to the average fan. And when we take notice of that, we will be able to make progress. Our fans are one of the most loyal fans. They should be treated as such. So obviously disagreeing with Joey Logano's assertion that NASCAR has great fan access, pointing out that local short tracks do it better and that there are other sports that do indeed have better access than NASCAR does even at uh, races he went on to add this he says now i don't like being so negative and there is positive examples of doing things right bristol and martinsville do it right post race there is a line of fans hoping to see their favorite driver walking out problem is 50 to 80 percent are on golf carts which falls on responsibility of drivers and teams to do better but just some like that adds a lot of value and adds energy to the experience obviously pointing out one of the things that nascar does well uh, at the short tracks like bristol and martinsville uh, he would also go on to respond to a number of people uh, in, in this response here, he said, my point is that used to be the case, but we're barely on track. VIP access would get you hours of practice up close to the glass garage and just watching them work behind the scenes was value. Now we don't use our garages even for the 20 minute practice. So the value to the fan was taken away from NASCAR and there's got to be a replace that was lost and that should fall on responsibility of the sport to give more back in a, another response. Let's see here. Uh, he responded to this person, Rob, who said it should be a privilege to be even within 50 feet of drivers. You are there to work, not be best friends. Fans can see their fave driver from the grandstands where they belong. Stop simping for these folks who want to distract you from your job. And Carson says, without them, I and everyone else have no job. And then we have this one here, uh, Rob Cooter saying, those are very isolated events and rare circumstances, uh, not a week-to-week -week basis. Obviously, he's talking about the foul ball. Uh, and the rushing the field experience. And Hosvar says, when I was a kid, we'd only go on Sundays and wasn't caught up on driver in fan zone. But when I would go to a local short track, all the kids I would be with would race down to front gate with 10 to go, knowing the gates were going to open uh, when the checkered flew on the last race. Just something like that in NASCAR would add so much to those wanting access that only come on Sunday. 
So I think he's providing some pretty interesting constructive criticism here. I kind of agree with him. I really like how short tracks do indeed open the gates up and you can get in there and talk to uh, your favorite driver without having to have a VIP pass or pay extra money for the pit pass. I know a lot of short tracks also have fan events uh, at select races where you can go down on to the track where the cars are all lined up. The drivers are out there. They usually have a little card or whatever, and they're willing to sign an autograph. And a lot of times they'll, they'll even let your, uh, let you maybe climb in the car <laughs> sometimes and have a seat. I know I brought my daughter uh, to the track at Dominion and I have a number of drivers allowing her to uh, encouraging her to get in the seat, trying to get her interested in the sport uh, outside of just watching, uh, watching. So I think that's really cool. And, and something like that is, is invaluable. And they do a really good job with that. And I, I think you can learn a lot from how these short tracks are kind of managing uh, the fan experience and, and gain something from that. I don't, think that uh, NASCAR fans are entitled. Uh, I definitely feel like you go to an NHL practice, you can easily get the best player in the world. Someone like Alex Ovechkin, Sidney Crosby, you can get them to sign a puck, sign a jersey, sign a stick, and it's not all too difficult. Uh, and then even in pregame warmups, you, th they are there, very accessible. Obviously, they're on the ice. There's walls and stuff, but they will throw pucks over the ice. Sometimes you'll get a signed stick. Uh, the, the players are there. They interact with the fans who are watching them right there next to the boards as well. So uh, there are uh, examples of other sports, I think, doing it better than what NASCAR does. But I also think that NASCAR does have really good examples, especially when you look look at uh, a lot of the short tracks that are in NASCAR and how they do it. But uh, I'm going to leave it to you guys. What do you make of what uh, Carson Hosfar had to say reg uh, in response to Joe Logano calling NASCAR fans spoiled? Do you agree with him? Uh, do you agree with Joe Logano? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below.